It used to require four years of study and weeks to complete a data analytics project. Now, with ChatGPT data analysis, you can do this in minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to perform data analytics using ChatGPT. Without further ado, let's delve in. I would highly recommend using custom instruction. This step is optional, but without it, ChatGPT's output could be very inconsistent. With custom instructions, it provides much better and consistent responses. You can download the custom instructions using the link in the description below. Let's start by uploading your data file. ChatGPT data analysis supports CSV, JSON, Excel, text, image, and zip files. These are the common file types to store data. For our project, we will upload a CSV file. The maximum file size is 512 megabytes. This data file contains surveys from an airline's company which include customer profiles, ratings of different services provided by the airline such as food and drink, online boarding and others. All right, I'm excited now. Let's begin by prompting ChatGPT. Could you please describe this data? It recognizes the data represents customers' flight experience with various attributes including gender, customer type, class, ease of online booking, food and drink, online boarding, and many others. I think it comprehends the data quite well. The truly remarkable thing is it also suggests focusing on data cleaning as the next step. This is really the powerful effect of using custom instructions. So I strongly recommend you use it in order to fully unleash the power of ChatGPT. Okay, let's follow ChatGPT's recommendation. Please proceed with data cleaning. It tells you the data cleaning process focuses on addressing missing values. To handle these missing values, we fill them with the median value. Again, it suggests us to perform the exploratory data analysis EDA to understand the distributions and relationships of uh, variables. All right, let's follow its suggestion. Please proceed with EDA. In a few seconds, ChatGPT generates many beautiful graphs. And let's take a look at those. Age distribution of customers, gender distribution, customer type distribution, class distribution, customer satisfaction distribution. These visualizations provide a foundational understanding of the data set's composition, revealing key trends and patterns. This can further guide analysis such as examining relationships between features and customer satisfaction, or conducting predictive modeling to identify the most significant factors influencing satisfaction. If you like this video so far, please click the like button and subscribe. Since we have good ideas about the data, we can proceed with conducting predictive model to identify the most significant factoring influencing satisfaction. The predictive model using random forest classifier with an accuracy of approximately 95%. This means every 100 predictions, it will be right for 95 times. This indicates a high level of predictive power in classifying customer satisfaction. But it only uses one predictive model. In a typical data analysis project, you will use many models and decide which is the best to use. So you may want to ask ChatGPT manually to perform other models such as logistic regression. It also tells me the predictions, recall, and F1 scores are high. But how high are they? I don't know. So let's ask ChatGPT to show the precision, recall, and F1 scores. They are all around 95%. Next, we want to know how each feature or parameter impacts the customer satisfaction. So I ask it to proceed with the feature importance and show me the graph of top 10. Here are the top 10 features influencing customer satisfaction. To my surprise, online boarding is the number one factor that drives customer satisfaction. I remember I had conducted another customer satisfaction analysis before and online too was a top factor as well. This finding is truly remarkable. Okay, if you don't know what to do next, you can ask ChatGPT to recommend next step. It recommends focus on key areas for improvement, segmented analysis to identify specific needs and preference of different customer segments. Okay, let's proceed with segmented analysis. ChatGPT segments the customer satisfaction by age group, by gender, by customer type, by class. But I don't know what this 012 really mean. 
So I asked it to redo the graphs with proper labels instead of just 0 and 1. It redoes the graphs with clear legends, and now I can understand the graphs. Let's ask ChatGPT to recommend next step for data analysis. And it suggests correlation analysis, time series analysis, predictive model cross-validation. Cross-validation is what I want to ensure that the model's performance is consistent across different subsets of data. In addition to that, I also wanted to provide actionable insights and recommendations. If you want to see the Python code, you can click the down arrow button here. Oops, ChatGPT fails due to time constraints as it is computationally intensive, but it does provide some actionable insights and recommendations such as focus on improving online boarding procedure as it is the most significant factor, enhance the quality and reliability of in-flight Wi-Fi service and in-flight entertainment options, tailor services based on customer segments. I can totally see these recommendations will improve customer satisfaction. Nice. Now we have an awesome predictive model. Let's see how to deploy the model. ChatGPT recommends model finalization, model serialization that can be loaded or used later without retraining. Choose a deployment platform such as AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. Create an API for the model, testing in a staging environment. CI CD for automating the testing and deployment of updates. That's all you need to complete a data analytics project. Is this perfect? No, there are some issues. For example, a typical data analysis project will use many predictive models and find the best model. But in this example, it only uses the random forest. The workaround to address this is manually ask ChatGPT to perform additional models for you. Also, if a model requires more compute power and takes longer time, it will only show you how to do it and you will have to do it offline yourself. Having that said, I think this tool is already a game changer. What will usually take days or weeks, you can now complete it in minutes. Also, with custom instructions, it addresses the previous issues of inconsistent output. Now you may be wondering if you are going to lose your job as a data analyst. I believe the answer is no, but you need to invest time in learning this tool and excel with it. Your employer expects this and your productivity should increase by at least 70% to remain competitive in the job market. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to help me reach the broader audience and see you in the next one.